from Breda and today we are starting our two days bikepacking trip to Zealand and this is my first winter bikepacking trip this year and I'm here with uh, Eric my friend from Poland uh, so we're doing like 300 kilometers around Zealand and we just want to test ourselves for this like type of weather conditions so probably next year I will also do a couple of like different bikepacking trips during the winter even if the winter in Netherlands is kind of unusual, I think today we will have like uh, a lot of rain on the way. So let's see, we don't have like any specific plan uh, to like stopping and finding the hotel, so let's see. Yeah, but I'm kind of excited and let's see how it goes. And plan for today after like a small chat with Eric, we want to do 150 and stop in the Middelburg because it's like end of the season here so there's probably a lot of options for hotels or hostels so we're doing uh, credit card bikepacking uh, so let's see how it goes maybe we want to go a little bit further but I think 150 it's uh, good for today and let's see uh, what will be like the weather conditions so yeah I think we are ready So after two kilometers, we get out from Breda and we just like pass the city center because we just try to avoid like crowds and we want to make this trip really easy. But right now it's really windy and we got like one small shower. So the conditions are not perfect, but let's see. Uh, it's just for like small tests for bikepacking in this area during winter and finally like the landscapes is more like not the city but on the countryside and yeah this I think will be really great to be here time to take some clothes after less than 5k I am also testing some stuff from Extendo they are really warm, also like the jacket, so yeah. Right now it's really wet on the road and I think today it will be more on the road and the bike paths instead of gravel. So we call this day Road Plus. And I think it will be like that, like on the countryside for like 40k. Then we will enter the Zealand. And let's see how it goes over there. But for now, uh, it's quite of like not comfortable on the road because it's wet and really sticky for my tires. Uh, but yeah, I think the forecast say that it should be sunny in like a couple of hours. So let's see. After 20 kilometers, the landscape didn't change a lot. Uh, still we are on the countryside, uh, still on the bike path and I think 20 kilometer more and finally we will have some gravel section. We had like really like small part of gravel but there was also like some MTB race over there so we were like really careful with like riding over there. So yeah, right now the landscape is yeah, just a countryside. Finally, 
we have some kind of like gravel section because this area looks like kind of similar around like Hilversum or Utrecht. Right now we are going through the woods with this bike path covered with leaves. Yeah, but it's really nice if finally we just like change the landscape from countryside to the woods because it was like a little bit boring. But I think finally we just like start our small adventure uh, on the Zealand area. The solution for my uh, cold feet which is like warmers for hands but I will drop them to my waterproof shoes but still I'm feeling really, really cold So we did 40 kilometers from our plan. After heavy rain on the road, right now we are like on the gravel section, but it's kind of really wild path. So we have to be really careful because it's muddy and sandy. And sometimes we have to like walk with the bikes, uh, which can be kind of dangerous. But yeah, we are planning to do this like with the safety. or town on the way so we can have a lunch uh, but definitely I want to come to this area during summer and explore like Zealand more because it's really interesting part of the Netherlands our great lunch in this one of the french fry places so we also booked our hotel in Migdeburg so we have like something around 60 kilometers to our place we are like staying for tonight so 
it will be I think fast right now we are going on the shore we need to do this like small loop here and then yeah everything is like perfect and as I can see uh, the sun is coming it's still windy but it should be fine like 60k it's not a really big deal we also need to figure out how to clean the bikes because I don't think so we can go with them like inside the hotel to the hotel room but we also want to find some place where we can spray the bikes before we will enter the hotel but let's see getting darker and we are in the middle of nowhere and I think 40k it's uh, still like cross all this like fields with mud and like some paths but we want to finish in like two hours since like 40k to our hotel uh, but I'm pretty tired because of the rain and cold uh, at least it's not rainy right now because the worst thing is like uh, cycling during the night when it's rainy so uh, yeah, hope we will finish in two hours, but it was really long and tough day, so I'm just waiting for a hot tea in the hotel. <laughs> After 8 hours on bike, we did 145 kilometers and we are in the Midburg. And the best reward for today is was hot shower and right now we are looking for some food and we really want to like fall asleep really quick because tomorrow morning we want to do like really fast uh, second half uh, but it was really nice experience doing like bikepacking during the winter so it's like the small preparation for the races that are coming next year for me and I highly recommend like doing that especially like if you stay in the hotel uh, so I was really enjoying like this adventure today and yeah if you want to do that go for it it's like the best experience ever uh, so right now time to look for some food and uh, see you on the next episode <music>